Come on, let's go. Move up and down, up and down. Good, good. Finger fake every day like this! Let's go! You gotta punch hard! On your mark, get set. Jay, if you receive one more vote, you will be eliminated. Rulon. My vote was for Jay. Jay, I'm sorry to tell you, with four <laughs> votes, you are not the biggest loser. And it's time for you to say goodbye. Good job. It's been a long night, but it's not over yet. We have one thing left to do, and for that, we're going to need the black team. I've asked them to join us. As you all know, your team is extremely important to you. You win as a team, and you lose as a team. But you get eliminated all by yourself. Although, if you get eliminated this next week, you're gonna have a little company because two players are being eliminated. This week we could lose two team members and that would be really, really, really devastating for our team. Three weeks in a row, we've lost somebody from our team. The team that loses the weigh-in will vote to send someone home, but there will also be a red line that you will face as individuals. And that red line doesn't care which team you're on. One person falls below that red line based on their individual percentage of weight loss. And they will be automatically eliminated. If you have the lowest percentage out of everybody, you're going home. That really scares me because I only lost three pounds this last weigh-in. I have to do something different because if I don't, I'm going to fall below that red line and I can't let that happen. I, I don't want to go home yet. So. As a team, you want to be first. As individuals, you just want to make sure you're not last. Good luck this week. You're going to need it. Good night. It would be totally devastating for me to fall below the red line. The red line terrifies me. I'm just not ready to go home. I want to stay here so much. Somebody is going to go home without an option. missing somebody. Yeah. Jay's not here. My hey, dad. Sorry. Brett and Kara come up and they notice that somebody's missing. And obviously, you know, that's my dad. And once again, reality sets in that we've lost yet another way in. And it's really not looking good for us. I'm sorry Jay's gone. For us, it's really hard. We know how hard your dad was working. It didn't go unrecognized. We loved working with him because he had so much heart. Something about Jay was he was very welcoming to this team, to us. There was no black team or red team. I never felt that. He was always open to us for our suggestions. He appreciated our style of training. It was, you know, it's tough so good guy. losing someone like that. So let's work on not losing somebody else this week. I don't know if uh, you guys know, but uh, there's now a red line. The person with the lowest percentage goes home and then Whatever team weighs in and has the lowest percentage of weight loss as a team also has to vote someone home. So two people go home this week. Okay, that's crazy. Two people going home? There is no way we're losing two people. We lost the last two weigh-ins. It hurts. This week, the workouts are going to be beyond intense. Nobody from my team is going home. We definitely can't lose someone else. So let's just push each other hardcore. So today, we're going to mix things up. We got a little surprise for you. We are not staying on the ranch. We're going off campus. It's going to be a fun, hard workout. Boom, Shaka. This is a comeback workout, my friends. Today, we're at an MMA, mixed martial arts gym. Boz Rutan's elite MMA for the underdogs. So now, there is no, as we say in New York, there's no front in here. There's no playing around. It is down and dirty and gritty. And that's the workouts that I love. There is a red line. Someone is absolutely going home. So it's our time right now, this week, 
this workout every day, every minute that you're here, to be fighting for your place. And this is it. Baz Rudin's Elite MMA. This is where pro fighters train, elite athletes train. It doesn't get any more real than this. Today we're at Boss Rutan's Elite MMA. Boss was actually uh, the commentator when I fought in Japan in 2004 for Pride Fighting. And I had a chance to train with him and Randy Couture. For me, being able to come back and train in his facility, it's just, it's a special opportunity. It's about being true to yourself and giving 100%. One, two, three, come back. One, two, three, come back! Are you ready? Yes! Are you ready? Yeah! Yeah! Oh! Harder! Harder! Get it harder, harder, harder! Are you going home this week? Pick up the pad. Fight it out. Let's go. Ha! 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 This week, we are being faced with a huge challenge. We have to fight as hard as we can. Get all that aggression out. Leave it here in the gym. I'm going to push these guys to their breaking point and beyond. I don't care how much they hurt because they're here fighting for their lives. It is do or die. Two people are going home this week. One of them will not be you. Fight it out. Let's go. Keep going, baby. Keep going. There's a red line. Plus, the team's sending someone home. That's two more people leaving. We can't have it be from the red team at all. This is the week where we don't let anyone go home. We're not losing another. Yes! Not going under the red line, Jamie! There's a red line! Let's go, let's go! That's what I'm talking about. Come back and pay back. Let's go, red team. My number one objective this week is to protect Kaylee. Because when you're getting that close to your target weight, it is very difficult to lose weight. It would be catastrophic if Kaylee went home. Because she is such a, she's a pulse of the team. You deserve to be here. You are not going home. Ha, come on. Ha, ha. With this red line, it is stressful, but it's also motivating, too, to take it to a whole new level. And with every punch, I'm just thinking, not me, not this week. I'm not falling below this red line. It's not an option. You guys are down in the hole. Who's coming out? Who's coming out, Kaylee? That's what I'm talking about. Excellent round. We're switching rooms. This is a pattern. Take a look at the tie pads over here. Now you're gonna have a partner. You have to motivate your partner now. You holding the pads have to dictate what your partner does. Let's go. Give it to him. Let's go. Right. Come on. Come on. Red line this week. Push. Fight harder than this. Let's go. Push. Hands up. I know I'm a little bit more susceptible to be falling under that red line. I've had a couple of really good weeks in a row, three double digits in a, in a row now, and I'm putting in the effort, the time to make sure that I'm not going below, and I'm not leaving this week. Faster, faster, Kay, let's go! You've earned your place every week. Keep earning. Focus, hands up. Don't drop that hand. Good, baby, give me something. That ain't nothing, let's go! It's good, it's good. Focus, stay in control, in control. Nice, Austin. We've never worked in this kind of a studio, and there's just a different energy. There's electricity that's going on. We're punching, we're kicking, we're doing stuff I haven't been physically capable of doing until today. Push it out. Almost there. Good. Time. Great job. We're switching rooms. Now we're in the third and final room, the sparring room. We're going in the ring. Everybody bow respect as you come into the ring. And this is where we kind of tie all the drills together. Here we go. Bowing to your partner. Three, two, Depending on where I hold the pads, they have to move. Let's go! Red line! Come on! Red line! Red line! Hey, I get down on the ground, they get a sprawl. Yeah! If I lift my hands up, they gotta pick me up. Yeah! Woo! And guess what? I'm gonna fight back. Oh! Yeah! I'm gonna punch. I'm gonna kick. Come on! I'm gonna push. I'm gonna get on top of them. Because life fights back, and I want them to show me that they have the ability to get back up and keep going. That was a sick, sick workout. That's what I'm talking about. That type of training, that type of effort, man. It's inspiring for the both of us, honestly. You guys, we have, we have the best team, hands down.
Yeah. You guys are awesome. We're going to win away in this week with the underdogs. It's time to come back up and take the prize. I'm really proud of them today. They came to fight, and they did. And they have to keep up this intensity all week long, or else two of them are going home. Rulan, we have a little surprise for you. Rulan, we have a little surprise for you. Boz, hello. Yeah. Hey. I think you know Rulan. Oh, yes, I know him very well. Oh, really? Rulan, do you know this guy? I do. He actually uh, helped train me before uh, my fight in Japan in 2004 before I gained all my weight. So. so you were one of his trainers before I was his trainer? Oh, yeah. Wow. He's a little tough, right? Very stubborn and hard-headed. So we're going to let you guys catch up. We'll take the rest of you guys. Let's get some water. Great job, everybody. Yes. Boz has to be one of the most respected, well-known, you know, diverse individuals in the fighting world. In 2004, I had a chance to actually train and fight in Japan in pride fighting against Hiryu Yoshida, an Olympic uh, judo champion from Japan. And in that match, I was able to knock him around and, and actually hit him, keep him off of me. And ultimately, I won the fight uh, and got to say I was uh, a champion in pride fighting. It was truly an amazing experience. And that was the last time that I truly was physically engaged to be a fighter. And after that fight, I just, simply stopped working out and truly caring about myself. I just never exercised. I didn't have the confidence. I, I stepped away from all physical activity. To go and to see Boz again, is, it's good. It's good in a lot of ways, but it's also, it's sad because seeing him again, you know, he got to see the weight that I put on and what happened to me after I stopped caring. You were 264 pounds. Now, now you start uh, with a lot of weight, like 400? How much you lost already? I've lost 103. 103. In how many weeks? Uh, about two months. It's, uh, it's, it's seven weeks we've been training. Seven weeks? Yeah. I'm very proud of Rulon. To, to hear from him that he already lost over 100 pounds in seven weeks, that's insane. That's a kid. He lost the weight of a kid. I mean, now you're back. Now you know, remember what you love so much. He sets a goal and he doesn't go off the path, so to say. Straight to the goal, whatever happens, that's gonna be happening, I wanna win. He's a winner. So, uh, this is awesome, you know, to have the elite team here. Uh, <laughs> you are awesome, buddy. Right. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Very good to see you. Uh, this is a great facility, man. Instead of being critical, he was very supportive. And hearing that, you know, made me, you know, made me feel really good about myself and just saying, wow, you know, here's one of the, the best fighters in the world and he respects you so much and it makes you feel good about yourself. Two people are going home this week. Two people. That's what you're fighting for. Two people are going home. Whoever falls below that red line will walk right out the door. We could potentially lose two people. I cannot let that happen. So this week is going to be one of the most painful weeks these contestants have been through. I don't mind if you throw up today. That would just make me happy. Just getting caffeinated. <laughs> We're just warming up. I'm taking him just for a couple of minutes. Yep. Awesome. With Arthur losing 20 pounds last week, he runs a huge risk of falling below the red line. But he's had such a breakthrough that that's what's going to carry him through this week. He just cannot go home. Good. Scorpion flip. Whoa. There's one. Two. Ah. Good, Arthur. We're going to 10. You think you got it? You got this. You can't do it. You did those two beautifully. This takes everything I have out of me. Physically, it's tough. I got 415 pounds that I got to move around. All the way, I can feel it. 18, 19, 20. Just a, a, a normal jumping jack, you know? I got probably 200 pounds of belly that pouncing up and carry it different. So, I mean, it's a constant struggle. Looking real good, Arthur. Good attitude, good strength. Here's a man that's going to be around this house for a long time. From week one, Bob has focused a lot of energy on me. And he's never given up on me, and that's important. Big week for me. Everybody's expecting me to be the one that goes home. And I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure that doesn't happen. You just start thinking why you're here. You know, I think of my two kids, and I just push on. 
Two people are going home this week. Black team is going to be black straw. <coughs> we put limitations on ourselves by talking about the things that we can't do. If we think we can do something, chances are we can do that. That red line's not going to get us, huh? No. I ain't got no thoughts about no line. I got no thoughts about tomorrow. I ain't even thinking about in the next hour. This is what I got to do. That's exactly right. <laughs> That's exactly what you need to be thinking about this moment, right? That's do you it. have any control in the future, do we? No, nothing at all. What do you have control over? Right now. That's right. All of us in this room right now are so completely motivated. Jillian and I are up against the impossible. The impossible. And I'm just hoping that uh, we prevail. You're already halfway there. Jillian gets some of us running at 10s and 11s and just, you know, 20 second sprints. It's kicking our asses. Five, four, three, two. Yes! What do you wow. think of that? Freaking amazing. Guess what you're gonna do now? Uh -oh. What? A 12. Because you can. I think I'm done, and I'm like, wait, you want me to run at a 12 right now? I've never done that before, but all right, let's let's go. A 7-0 for Arthur. 8-3. 8-3. 6-5. Try a 10-0. Oh, that's a 12. Oh, you got more. Give me more. Three, two, one. In The Biggest Loser House, it's all about finding exercises that incorporate your whole body for the most effective workout. That's why I came up with the Scorpion Flip. Let me show you how to do it. From a push-up position, you hold as you take one leg up, cross, look at the ceiling as you bring up the opposite foot to meet the hand, pause, come back, push-up position, down, up. Don't forget to do the other side, and that is a Scorpion Flip. Three, two, one. Run, guys. Run for me. Run. Jillian is killing us. She's upset about the red line, and she's working us to the bone. Seems pretty impossible for a 258-pound girl to run at a 12.0. I'm like, you know what? If, if I believe I can do this, then I can do it. Three, two, one. Whoa. Give me some, girl. Holy It was exhilarating to realize that I was doing something that I hadn't done before. Hallelujah! <laughs> My God. You have had a life-changing moment right now. Because now you have a glimpse of your potential. You start out running at 8, you end up running at 12. What changed? Nothing except you got out of your own way and accepted that you could do it. Because you can do anything with the right attitude and the right tools. Okay? That was awesome. Great workout. Good job. I did it. I actually did it. I'm so proud. It's unbelievable. We've just been running sprints at eight, nine, 10 miles an hour. But the whole time you could have run it at 12. Think about it. What else in your life are you doing half-ass? That was awesome. I needed that. Kaylee. Oh, great. She's very vulnerable to fall under that red line. Kaylee. I'm going to wake her up every morning. Get up. It's time. And we are going to work out together. I'm going to push her as much as I can to make sure she doesn't drop. we got a red line this week. We're not going to fall below it. I'm definitely not a morning person at all, so I'm just like, <sighs> Grab your stuff. Let's head out there. This is do or die. We do it now because if we don't, there won't be a next week. This week is critical. Here we go. We're going to push each other. We're going to push each other until we're totally exhausted and we want to fall on the ground. All right. We know that everything we do now is going to keep us above that red line. Go. One, two. Double test. 
Haley is truly giving everything she's got so she can stay above that line. Go hard, three, four, three, two, one. It is hard waking up early in the morning, and it's even harder waking up to work out in the morning. But it's going to pay off in the end because both me and my dad were not falling below the red line. <sighs> not going home this time. Get to do this every morning. Hi. Hey, hey, what are you guys doing? You just, just got done from workout. Oh, good. Yeah. Are you guys hungry? You going to eat? Yeah, we're, we're about to, to go, go in to make something. All right, good, because I have some of you guys. So I carry these around in my bag because I like to snack on them. They keep me feeling full in between oh, yeah? meals. Okay. Something yummy. Five one, 90 calorie bars. I eat them all the time. It's a delicious way to take the hunger out of dieting. It has five grams of fiber in a bar, so right there, that's 20% yeah. of your daily value. Tastes good? Yeah, it's really yeah. good. I knew you would like it. I know you like chocolate, Moses, right? Oh, yes. It's, it's so I can eat the whole day. box then, No, right? you can't eat the whole box. <laughs> I'll see you guys inside in a little while, all right? OK, exactly. thanks. See you later. Coming up on The Biggest Loser, the contestants okay. have a ball yeah. in a challenge that will have big consequences at the weigh-in. Red team needs this. We need it this week. And later, the red line gets tempers flaring. Just because I'm an old man doesn't mean you throw me out to the water. Because I don't want to go to the pasture. Period. One of the best strategies for losing weight is to keep a daily or weekly log of all your workouts to make sure you're progressing properly. Note the frequency, duration, and intensity of your workouts. First, we did spinning for 90 minutes, right? And then next, we had our sprint intervals with Jillian. Right. Very typical Bob and Jillian workout. It's also a great motivator to see your improvements. Writing it down will help you stay on track. We are definitely on our way to our goal. I know, right? Yeah. You know, walking out of this football field, and we see all these huge, for lack of a better word, balls everywhere. And I'm thinking, I hate to say I'm great with balls because that sounds bad, but I am. All I know is that these balls are huge. Massive. Ginormous. Balls. It's going to be really interesting. <laughs> you can only imagine what we're in for. I'm really anxious to see what Allison's going to tell us that we're going to be doing with them today. Hello. Good morning. Come on in, red team. You may be on different teams, but all of you have one very important thing in common. You won't be here forever. One day you will go home, and you are going to be faced with all kinds of distractions. Work, family, friends, all the other things that are part of everyday life. And you're going to have to learn to keep a lot of balls in the air. Today's challenge is no different. Here's how it works. Your job as a team is to get all six balls from over there, down the field, through the uprights. There are three very basic rules. You can't let it hit the ground. Two, you can't hit the ball twice in a row. Three, no catching it. And there's one more small detail. You'll all be wearing these. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> <laughs> Boxing gloves are extremely awkward, and these balls are humongous. So I'm thinking this is not going to be an easy challenge whatsoever. <gasps> the team that wins today's challenge a prize that may help keep them on campus a little while longer. The winning team gets a three pound advantage of this week's weigh-in. We've already won two weigh-ins in a row. It's gonna be really hard to win a third, so it is of paramount importance that we win this one because we need those three pounds. Black team, you have two extra team members, so you're gonna have to sit two people out of today's challenge. Who's it gonna be, Marcy? We've chosen Arthur and Sarah to sit out today. All right, the rest of you, let's get you started. Come on. Looking at this challenge from someone who's spent years and years doing this and hitting balls in the air to a hitter, you know, playing volleyball in high school, college. My dad and I had this lifelong dream that I was going to be in the Olympics, so I feel like we have a good shot at this, you know? The black team has less weight overall of a team, so it's more important for them to win because ultimately they get three extra pounds. That's a huge difference, and we've seen how that affects the game completely. So if we miss an opportunity to get three pounds, we're in trouble. On your mark, get set, go! We've got to beat this red team today. Red team needs this. We need it this week. It's coming, Hannah, it's coming. Good job. Ooh. 
I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I got you. Here. Oh, my team bad. completely yeah. loses control. We're going to have to try again. Okay, we got to be in here. And the red team's got to start over. The goal is to get six balls to the end of the field without them touching the ground. The first team to six points wins. You're out of bounds. Oh, yeah, nope, well. not two times in a row. Black team's got to try again. Go ahead. I got it, I got it, I got it. As the red team loses control, the black team's still there in there. There you go, call it out. Go. There you go. I got it, Courtney. Courtney, oh, good save. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. The first couple balls that we're hitting, it's just, it's not good. We're not looking too good right now as a team. We're trying to communicate. This is pretty difficult. It's a lot more difficult than it might seem. Get ahead. Gosh. Rulon to Justin, Kaylee calls it, Justin again, Kaylee. After we dropped our first two balls, we started kind of making a run down the field. We started kind of figuring out that, hey, we need to have less people hitting the ball, a few safeties to get it here and there, that the ones we missed, and, and just start to head down the field. Okay, here we go, here we go, get down there. Get over there, get over there. Okay, yeah, get over there. And that's it. She's true, she's true, let's go. Yeah. One down, five to go, red team. Helper! Yeah. I got it! The black team trying oh. again. It falls to the ground again. Black team, you are still in this. Do not give up. Go. I got, got it. it. Go. No, this one's so heavy. Got it. That big ball is heavy. We're going to have to lose this one, you guys. Yeah, okay. we have to lose this one. When you hit it up, your glove disappears like halfway inside it. Lose it. No. Stay with it. It's too big. Stay with it. Jesse. Let him hit the ground. Jesse helping out, but no one's there to back him up, and it falls to the you ground gotta again. Put it in at some point in time. Jesse, it's too hard to maneuver. Nice and simple. I got it. There, I'll get it. Don't I, go got back it. I got it. Catch up, Austin. Catch up, Austin. I got it. This is not our volleyball players. Yes, brother. Got it. Ready, Marsh? Low. Low. Here we go. I got it. Okay. I think our key is. Just our four volleyball players, hit it. 10 yards left. Black team showing good control this time. They're halfway Turn down the field. the other way. Turn the opposite way. I got way. it. Hannah. You guys got it? They're almost there. Yeah, go back, Moses. Got you, buddy. You guys are going back. You guys are going back. That's two Whoa. for the red team. They've got four left. Come I on. got it. Come on, Jess. Still a chance to be in this. Come on, Come on guys. Easy. Red team and the black team on a collision course. Got it, got it, got it. Getting these balls down 100 yards, it's tiring and awkward. It's a tough challenge. Got you it. got it. Now, you two walking. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Marcy, you got it. You got it. I got it. I got, got it. I got it. Black team staying focused as the red team goes past them. Oh. Up. Come on, Jen. Get it up. Get it I got it. Remember, the first team to get six balls to the goalpost wins. Just nice and easy. You don't need to rush. Oh, God. Oh. Halfway Woo! there, red team. You have three down, three to go. Black oh. team drops the ball the 10 yard line. Oh. Black team still has no points. Time after time, we're looking great. We're looking great. And then all of a sudden, one mistake is made. Oh, God. Mar uh, ah. Ah. Did he? Black team is not learning how to accomplish this. They are still making the same mistakes. I'm looking at the red team, and they're doing great. They've got their rhythm down. They're communicating. Tap it. That's nice it. Nice job, Austin. They've got a lot more balls in right now. Right, guys, let's go, Moses. Nice and easy. There you go. We're trying to regroup, but it just seems like everything is chaos, disorganized, and we just can't all kind of get on the same page. Okay. All right, now, Hannah, get in position. Look at where are you? I'm right, right beside there. you. Right now, beside you. you. Oh, God. And the black team lets it hit the ground again. Come on, guys. It's not over. Don't give up. Hustle. Throw it down. Here you go. Hi. I got it. I got it. I got it. Come on. Red team loses control. Justin and Kaylee trying to save it. Justin and Kaylee. Kaylee back. Justin recovers. We got this. I got this. OK, there we go. Oh. Right, get her. Help her. Come on, Ruth. Oh. Oh. Right back. Yeah. There Oh, and the red team with a close call to get another score. Okay, let's get them back. Black in. team still remains oh, scoreless. Yeah, just read. I mean, you gotta get There's it. less than 
10 yards to go. Black team ready to make their first score. Put it in. Nice. Yeah, That's great. it. The black team has figured this out. Finally, we get it down and we get it in. But it is, it's a little bit too late because, you know, I look and I think by that point they already had five in there. You know, we're running 100 yards back to get our next ball and they've got one more to go. So we realized at that point it was just too little too late. Keep it down. Focus on this ball. Here we go, Justin. Here we go. Nice. This is it for the win, Red Team! Hits it through the uprights, and that's it! Congratulations, Red Team, you have won this challenge! Yeah! Victory! Nice All right, Ken. Nice. Yes. Hey, that's how we do it! Good job. That's how we do it! Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. What this challenge really meant for us was not necessarily that we were gonna get those three pounds. The three pounds were more important for their team, so we wanted to take it away from them. But it doesn't change anything this week. We have to still have to push just as hard to make sure the weigh-in happens the way it needs to happen this week. Congratulations, Red Team. You have won today's challenge, and you won a three-pound advantage at the weigh-in this week. Nice. 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 Well, good job, Red Team. We'll see you on the scale. Have a great week. Thank good. you. Good awesome. luck, Black Team. We'll see you guys soon. All right. Losing this three-pound advantage for the Black Team is dangerous for us. We had a lot of people that had great weeks last week. So we need every advantage that we can get. And it just seems that when we really need the advantages, we just can't seem to pull them through. And that's what's happening this week. Well, we did the best we could, and that's all we could do. And I hate losing to them. I know, especially for the three pounds. I think that's why I want to, I want to talk, because it's three pounds. Going into the way the black team has beaten the red team twice, and I feel like the odds are against us. Uh, I think that they are due, and I'm a little bit worried about people falling below that red line. So as far as I'm concerned, if there's anything that we can control, it might be to look at this way in and make sure that the right people fall below this red line. But now if one of us fall below the red line, I think it's pretty much a guarantee that they're going to win if, if we, you know, so. I, that's really what I want to talk about, is then what happens then. It seems like ever since we had the announcement of a, a red line this week, a uh, few of the parents have been kind of on edge, particularly Denny and Marcy. I will say to you, and I've said it from day one, that if I need to go, I'm okay to go. I think that's something I would want to do for all the young people. And you know, I feel the same way. You guys are all like daughters and we don't want any of you going home. You know, the main thing that I wanted everybody to understand was that, you know, I was willing to fall below the red line for these girls, and Denny feels the same way, but I, I guess really what we needed to lay out on the table was how did Jesse feel about it? You know, how, how did he feel about, um, you know, going home or not going home? And now with the three pounds gone, you know, even if one of us made the decision to say, okay, I'm willing to go below the red line, there will be a second person that goes. That's the bottom line. If I'm understanding this correctly, and correct me if I'm wrong, one of you three will purposely go under the red line. And my understanding, it sounds like one of you guys will fall under the line and then my dad would be the one to get voted, right? I mean, I mean, that's... I don't know, we don't need to I don't know if that was really... Cards, nobody really made that understanding yet, but, you know, unless he would want to or, you know, but I'm... I'm willing. So do you feel like we should take the chance of Arthur possibly falling? I mean, should we take that chance? You know, me and Arthur have talked about it. Uh-huh. We believe in ourselves. Of we course. We have faith in ourselves. <clears throat> I don't see him falling below that line. Arthur already is at a huge risk of being under the red line this week. So Jesse being the father should feel like, you know what, if my son has any way of going home this week, I'm going to do something about that. My first thought, and I'm not even related to Arthur, my first thought is, what do we do about Arthur? Even if there's a 100 millionth of a percent chance, how do we protect Arthur? It actually leaned towards the idea that I wouldn't do what was necessary for Arthur and since I wouldn't do what was necessary for Arthur, I would not do what's necessary to help them. In y'all's perfect plan, what would you suggest that all of us, I mean, just so we can hear all options? I feel like, you know, in, in my perfect world... We're going to win. We're go yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, but if we don't, Okay, just, just, comes, just in the perfect world, but we st it's still a perfect world, but we don't win. Okay? Then what happens? Now, 
if you want me to sit up here and say... I want you to tell the truth. If you want me to sit up here and say, yeah, you know, send my dad. Of course, I'm not going to do that. Just like Courtney's not going to say, send my mom home. Of course. You know what I mean? So, you know, yeah, if I have to pick, of course, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be you two. Just like, you know, if you had to pick, you love me. It's not that I, you know, I'm in a real messed up spot. It's all right. It's It's okay. You know how much I love you. You don't even have to be sad about that. But it's okay. I, if that's how you feel, then I but, respect that. You know, it's messed up. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place because after my dad, Marcy's probably the closest one, the one I'd want here the most. I can't sit up here and, and say, I could, you know, yeah, send my dad home. Let me tell you all something. I'm get, I, I, for me, all of this mess is just getting a little, it's getting to me. I'm tired of it. There's all of this bickering about this, that, and the other, and saving this person and this person. I don't think people have been bickering. I think people have been trying to prepare a plan. What people have been doing is making me feel guilty. You shouldn't feel guilty. Then, then you know, don't, then but don't people are making me feel guilty because I have... Wait, wait a minute. Let me speak for myself. People are making me feel guilty because I haven't stood up and said, I'm willing to do this, that, or the other. Okay? The whole conversation today is, is, is around, well, Jesse, you know, what if Arthur this and Arthur that? Arthur falls below the line, then, you know, if, I, if there's something I can do to keep him here, then that's what I'm going to do. Period. You know? And, and if there's something I can do to keep somebody else here who I feel needs to be here better than I do, then I will. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, not everybody here, as far as I'm concerned, needs to be here any more than I do, regardless of what your age is. Just because I'm an old man doesn't mean you throw me out to the water. Because I don't want to go to the pasture. I have issues that I have to deal with. And it's like they're getting overlooked, like they don't even exist. And that's what I'm talking about, I resent. Just because I'm an old man. I don't want him to go home. Period. So we gotta, you know, we gotta go. That upsets her, so be it. He doesn't even know the beginnings of my problems. And to make judgments on other people like that, it's just very sad and very hurtful. They felt like, hey, you know, we're here working so hard to keep your son here, and you say you deserve to be here more than we do, and that hurt, um, hurt them pretty badly. and gentlemen there's a red line on your mark get set go Shh. come on come on mother Shh. yes time good two four six eight seven nine how many eight how many seven how many six how many five yes four five six seven eight nine we have this three pound advantage. But then also, you know, we realize that we've had advantages we felt the last few weeks and ultimately we lose the weigh-in at the very end. So we need to make sure that, that our weight loss is right where it needs to be because we can't chance, you know, sending another one of us home this week and there's a chance it could be anybody. That's it, baby. That's it, baby. That's it, baby. That's it, Jen. Hard, hard, last chance, last chance, come on. One, two, three. <laughs> it's essential that we have a good last chance workout. Two people going home. And we go to bed tonight knowing that we gave everything. Nine, let's go harder. Sweating, let's go, fast and five, four, three, two, one, go. Go, last chance workout, 30 seconds, as fast as you can. Red line. Can the black team win another weigh-in? You guys have done so well. Last chance. I feel like, as the black team, we've proved time after time that we can beat them at the weigh-in. We know what it's like to win. We know what it's like to beat this red team, and that's what we want to do. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Last chance. Let's go. Pop, 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 pop. One, two, three. Hip over. Two, three, four. Boom. Jillian kicked my butt today. Elbows closed, 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 closed. Don't give me the stomach or I'm going to take the shot. There's something about Jillian, you know, she can bring out the worst and the best in you. Do I look like I care if you're tired? No. Focus. Back foot. Drop. Good. Hands are up. She just kept beating the crap out of me. Three, four, 
boss. Hip busting feet. Bang, good. We're just sweating. Go! Eight, ten. We're all sore. That's what I'm talking about. That's it. That's a girl working through it. And there's just that, that reminder of there's a red line. Last chance workout! We got a red line! And you're going to push to make sure you're not going home because of it. Four, six, eight, ten, switch! Last chance! Come on, Kenny! This really is kind of the Alamo for us. We've got to win tomorrow. And we need to win the weigh-in, and we need somebody from the black team to go home. Two, four, six, push him! Let's go, baby! Last chance! Earlier on The Biggest Loser, the contestants got some shocking news. Two players are being eliminated. Matt's going under the red line, Kaylee! There's a red line! Let's go, let's go! At the challenge, the black team dropped the ball, yes. losing a critical three-pound advantage. Woo. Yes. Coming up, two people are going home in the most intense weigh-in of the season. Feel free to come at me. Like I said, I'm, I'm not going to hurt you. All right. <laughs> Trust me. But I'm still going to put a little bit of pressure on you and see how you react. Kaylee is this sweet, little, innocent, quiet girl, right? But she's really not. Because deep down, I know that she's this fierce fighter. And I wanted to show her she's a fighter. So I put some gloves on her. And I told her, guess what? Today, you're fighting me. When I was five years old, my dad taught me how to box. I started competing when I was 20. I was ranked number two in the country by USA Boxing. I won the Golden Gloves in New York twice. Life is about making a comeback. It's about losing and falling off and then picking yourself up again. And that's what it's all about here at The Biggest Loser, a second chance. So this last chance workout, it's all about fighting. Kaylee's far from done with her fight. She needs to be here. So today, I'm gonna make Kaylee fight. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Come on, Kaylee. There you go, Kaylee. <laughs> you can't possibly know what a great fighter you are unless you're put in a fight every time i would punch kaylee she would come at me twice as hard i don't think kaylee knew that about herself i don't think she knew that if she got hit she was gonna hit someone back i think kaylee won a lot of self-respect today i'm really proud of you <laughs> seriously it's like i was really i was really hitting you you've been boxing for two months and it's like i, I work out with girls that have been boxing for years that have gone on easier than you because you have so much heart and you're born with that. That's not something someone could teach. So I was like, I was blessed to get you as a student because you can't teach someone hard. You could teach them all the skills of boxing, but <sighs> I'm just, I'm so thankful for you. You've really helped me a lot. See how, you know, bring out these strengths and I never thought I would even come to do this. And I'm just really happy I, I, you're my trainer. Today was kind of a turning point for me to realize that I've been taking punches my whole life and not fighting back, not believing in myself that I can fight back, that I can fight for these things. And today in the ring just made me really open my eyes and see that I am worth fighting for. Thank okay. you for it. And I know you're going to be good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Knowing that uh, this is the first time we're actually going to face the red line, you don't want to be that last person on the totem pole. 
The red line doesn't show any mercy. If you fall under, that's it. Say goodbye and go home. Black team, red team. For the third week in a row, you are weighing in against each other as teams. And so far, it's been all black. Red team, tonight we'll find out if it's third time is the charm or three strikes you're out. Tonight, the losing team will have to vote to send one member of their team home. But that's not all. Tonight, there is a red line. The player with the lowest percentage of weight loss on either team will fall below the red line and be automatically eliminated. Red team, at the challenge this week, you won a three pound advantage at the weigh-in. Austin, we're gonna put you on the scale first. As much as I want to say I'm not worried about it, having a red line makes you rethink every move you're making. Makes you wonder, is there an extra hour I could have squeezed out of my time to make sure I walked or I did something else so that my body was more active? But I don't know what I'm going to come up with, and I'm nervous. Austin, your previous weight was 306 pounds. You have lost 90 pounds so far this season, which means you are 10 pounds away from being the third person this season to lose 100 pounds. You are also seven pounds away from getting out of the 300s. So you get a lot of milestones you're working towards this week. Your current weight is. Your previous weight was 306. Your current weight is. I'm out of the 300s, and uh, I haven't been there in, in a decade, and I've only lived two decades. So <laughs> it's kind of a, it, it's kind of awesome. So I mean, I'm excited for seven. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Austin, you lost seven pounds this week, adding to the red team's total, making it 10 pounds. And of course, we have to evaluate your weight loss as an individual, too. You lost seven pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.29%. Next, we're going to weigh in a man who got under 300 pounds last week, Ken. Ken, your previous weight was 296. In order to guarantee that you are above that red line, you need to beat Austin, which means you need to have lost more than six pounds. Your current weight is. Are you happy with that number? No, not quite. But I've had three really, really good weeks in a row, so I just gotta live with that. Good for you, Ken. Thanks. Ken, you lost five pounds, bringing the red team's total to 15 pounds for a total percentage of weight loss of 1.69%, Ken. Austin, with one person below you, you are definitely safe from the red line. Next, we're gonna weigh in Justin. Justin, your previous weight was 277 pounds. In order to make sure you are safe above that red line, you need to have lost more than four pounds. Your current weight is. Good job, buddy. That's a little better. I'm, I'm a little happier, you know. As a team, we, we went back to the basics, you know, we started getting up in the mornings and taking care of our hikes, taking care of every little detail that we needed to take care of, and uh, I'm happy with our team, and, you know, it's a good week for me. Thanks. Great. Thanks, Justin. This week, you lost seven pounds, adding to the red team's total, making it 22 pounds so far. So your personal percentage of weight loss is 2.53%. With two people below you, Justin, congratulations. You are definitely safe from the red line tonight. Rulon, you're next. Rulon, your previous weight was 371 pounds. In order to beat Ken and make sure you're above that red line, you need to have lost 
more than six pounds. Your current weight is. You've lost four pounds. Every day I worked hard and burned calories and sweat a lot and gave everything I had, so I don't. All I can say, Rulon, is that number doesn't reflect who you are, man. You're a hero to everybody here. You've been inspirational every single workout. We'll figure it out. Rulon lost 11 pounds last week. That's a huge number. We know from experience it is very difficult to have two big numbers two weeks in a row. Thank you, Rulon. I was devastated. I, I wanted to run. I wanted to hide in shame. I don't like to lose. I don't like to be defeated, and I felt like I was defeated. Rulon, you lost four pounds this week, adding to the red team's total, making it 26 pounds. Your individual percentage of weight loss is 1.08%, which means, Ken, with one person below you, you are definitely safe from the red line. Kaylee, you're next. I had my team pushing me, I had my dad pushing me, and I'm just thinking, please, I need a good number. I cannot go below the red line. How are you feeling this week? Our team this week has really put the effort in. We've, we've really worked hard this week, and to see that the scale is not showing that hard work, it's really sad to see. Uh, so I'm really nervous right now. Kara, how do you feel Kaylee did this week? You've just become an amazing person. You're so strong. Everybody here sees it. And when we boxed the other day in the ring, I was not going easy on you. And every time I hit you, you tried to hit me twice as hard. So what that shows to me is that in life, if you get hit, you're going to hit back harder and that you're going to be fine. No matter what the scale says, you're going to be a champion. All right, Kaylee, your previous weight was 187 pounds. In order to beat Rulan and make sure that you're safe from that red line, you need to have lost more than two pounds. All I can think of is what we did this whole week, every morning. Go hard, Kaylee. Go. Yet there's always that possibility you can fall below. Kaylee, your current weight is. She just needs to be at least higher than one person. Kaylee, in order to beat Rulan and make sure that you're safe from that red line, you need to have lost more than two pounds. Kaylee, your current weight is. to thank my trainers especially my dad waking me up in the morning when I didn't want to get up this week watching her she realized that she's that special that, that she's worth fighting for herself and I got her out of bed she doesn't like getting out of bed early <laughs> but uh, um, it paid off and I, I'm so proud of her congratulations Kaylee thank you Good job, Kaylee. Good job, Kaylee. Kaylee was a top priority all week now look at her. She lost a huge number on the scale, and I am so proud of her. Kaylee, you lost seven pounds this week, making the red team's total so far 33 pounds, and your individual percentage of weight loss is 3.74%. I'm happy for her, but I have a realization in my stomach that there's a really good chance that my journey probably will be over tonight. Congratulations, you are definitely safe from that red line this week. It looks like all your hard work paid off. There are two players left to weigh in on the red team. Next, we're going to weigh in your dad, Moses. In order to be safe from that red line, you need to have lost more than three pounds. Moses, your current weight is... Good. I'll take that. <laughs> That's really good. You know, this week, uh, 
My whole focus was to help Kaylee. And I'm glad that I'm able to lose this weight. But most of all, to watch my daughter become the young lady that I've always known that she is, that, that means more to me than anything else. Congratulations on those 11 pounds, Moses. Good work. You lost 11 pounds this week, adding to the red team's total, making it 44 pounds so far. And Moses, as an individual, you have lost a total percentage of weight loss of 3.3% this week, which means you are definitely safe from that red line. Up next, the final member of the red team, Jen. Jen, in order to make sure you're above that red line right now, you need to beat Rulan, which means you need to have lost more than two pounds. Your current weight is. as hard as I could this week. I feel like I failed myself. I feel like I failed my team. I feel like I let them down. I feel like I let my dad down. He's not here anymore. And I can't even pull a negative number. I can't even lose weight. I thought I would have lost six or seven pounds tonight on the scale. To be honest with you, it's an embarrassment. This week was extremely stressful. Um, I wanted to you know, make my dad proud. You know, he went home last week. Jen, you gained two pounds, which means we're taking away two pounds from the red team's total, making it 42 pounds. Your individual percentage of weight loss will be plus 0.95%, which means, Rulan, you are safe from the red line. And Jen, you have the lowest percentage of weight loss on the red team. And with a plus number, you are in danger of following below the red line and being automatically eliminated. Holy cow, how can this happen this way? I feel a contrast of two things, you know? It's like, yes, you're safe, but uh-oh, she's below you. And if it was a typical week, I'd be going home. Red team, you lost a total of 42 pounds for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.12%. That is the number to beat, black team. To win this way in three weeks in a row, the black team needs to have lost more than 44 pounds. To do that, each player on the black team would need to lose an average of five pounds a piece. Arthur, come on up. Personally, I'm not that nervous about this red line. I feel like I've really found the balance that's required to have a successful weight loss week in and week out. But when you have everybody else around you who is so focused and so worried about it for you, it's hard to push it out of the back of your mind. Arthur, last week you had a huge week on the scale. You lost 20 pounds. Since you started with The Biggest Scissor, you have lost 92 pounds, which means you are just eight pounds away from losing 100 pounds. Arthur, the most important thing for you to worry about right now is as long as you haven't gained weight this week, you're above that red line. Arthur, your current weight is. That's what I wanted. I, I, my goal was to at least get eight. I want to get, hit that century mark, and I did. Arthur's been working really hard, and it, it was good. It was a good number to see. And I know that everyone was worried except you and your dad, and I, and I really like that. All right. Thanks, Arthur. <laughs> Arthur, you lost nine pounds for the black team, so your individual percentage of weight loss this week is 2.17%. Looks like the black team's off to a good start. Olivia, you're next. Olivia, you're definitely working towards a milestone. Getting out of the 200s, how important would that be to you? I haven't been under 200 since junior high, so I hope to get it this week. We'll see. As you know, now that Jen has gained weight, all you have to do is not gain weight, and you are safe from that red line. Olivia, your current weight is. So close. I mean, it's better than two, but still not where I want it to be. So I guess it'll be next week. Thank you.
Olivia, you lost four pounds this week, adding to the black team's total, making it 13 pounds so far. So your individual percentage of weight loss is 1.94%. With four people below you, you are definitely safe from that red line tonight. Sarah, you're next. Please don't let me see a plus line in front of my number. You know, I just saw Jen, who I've seen work hard, gain two pounds, and I don't want that to be me. Sarah, as long as you didn't gain more weight than Jen, you're safe from that red line. Okay. Your current weight is... Sarah, your previous weight was 208 pounds. As long as you didn't gain more weight than Jen, you're safe from that red line. Okay. Your current weight is... Two weeks in a row. <laughs> All right, thanks, Sarah. You lost four pounds this week, adding to the black team's total, making it 17 pounds so far. And Sarah, your individual percentage of weight loss tonight is 1.92%, which means you are definitely safe from that red line. Congratulations, sir. Black team, remember, you need to have lost more than 44 pounds as a team to win your third weigh-in in a row. Next, we're gonna weigh in Irene. Irene, your previous weight was 198. As long as you didn't gain more weight than Jen, you're safe from that red line. Your current weight is... Thanks, Aaron. Thank you. Really, I wanted to go into the 180s, but uh, I... I lost three pounds, and um, it is what it is. Irene, mean, you lost three pounds? Irene, your individual percentage of weight loss this week is 1.52%. Irene, you are safe from that red line. The black team is starting to pull low numbers, but I have seen the black team pull some amazing things out of the hat in the last moment, and I just don't want to count my chickens before they hatch. Hannah, your previous weight was 194 pounds. As long as you didn't gain more weight than Jen, you're safe from that red line. Your current weight is... Disappointing. Yeah, I don't like a one. You know, we knew it was going to be a really tough week. And we worked so hard last week, and a lot of us had big numbers last week, including me. And so, although I'm disappointed in myself because one pound in a week here is just not enough, I'm just really happy that I didn't gain. You lost one pound this week, adding to the black team's total, making it 21 pounds. Your individual percentage of weight loss is 0.52%. And you are safe from that red line tonight. According to your previous weight was 258 pounds. Your current weight is. It's the lowest number you've had since you've been here. Yeah, it is. And to see these numbers up here tonight, it, it's... It's scary because we all worked really hard this week. And this red line has had me freaked out all day. I'm happy that I'm not going home, but, you know, I watched what Jen did this weekend. She deserves to be here, and I just hope that she doesn't have to go home either. Thanks, Cody. Thank you. As I drop lower and lower on the list of weight loss this week, I just start to feel sicker and sicker to my stomach. Courtney, you lost two pounds this week, adding to the black team's total, making it 23 pounds. Your individual percentage of weight loss this week is 0.78%. So, Courtney, you are definitely safe from that red line. And black team, remember, you need to have lost more than 44 pounds as a team to win this weigh-in. That means the three remaining players need to have lost an average of eight pounds a piece for the black team to win. I'm watching the black team get all these low numbers, and I'm thinking that this is not looking good. We are going to have to do a whole lot better if we're going to win this thing. Marcy, we're going to weigh you in next. 
Yeah, Mark. When Courtney's safe from the red line, and I know that she's lost those two pounds, it's a weight lifted off my back. And, and as far as I'm concerned, what happens right now doesn't really matter. Marcy, your previous weight was 181 pounds. Your current weight is... Plus one? We're all just astonished because it's clear that something was going on. I don't want any of these kids to go home, and I can promise you one thing, because I think this is, you know, this is you're supposed to just think about yourself. This is about me. It's what makes me feel right. I didn't want Jen to go. I don't want my young people to go, and that's about me. So if anybody wants to analyze that, I just want to say, that decision is mine, I promise. You okay? Thanks, Percy. Marcy, you gained one pound this week, so the black team's total is now 22. Your individual percentage of weight loss this week is plus 0.55%, which means Jen is still in danger of falling below the red line. There are two players left to weigh in, and that's Jesse and Denny. Jesse, you're up. Arthur's already got himself safe, so I don't, I don't need to be concerned about him and uh, a lot of the other girls. So the only one that's really there now is Jen. If I'm not in the plus, she's not coming above that red line. So I am wondering if I've done enough. Jesse, your previous weight was 238 pounds. Your current weight is... I have no regrets about anything that I've done. My greatest fear was that I would be at line 15 and Arthur would be at line 16. I was not going to let that happen. I am very proud of my son. If I can be half the man that my dad is, I'll be one happy man. I don't need to be all, all sad about things. We're all going to go home at some time. So I'm just going home a little early, you know? <laughs> that doesn't mean that this won't be 32 at some point in time. You know? Well, this is not the end of the world. Thank you very much, Jesse. <laughs> Jesse, you gained three pounds, making the black team's total 19 pounds. Your individual percentage of weight loss this week is plus 1.26%, which brings Jen above that red line. What Jesse did for Arthur helped me because if it wasn't for doing that and trying to keep Arthur here as much as he could, I'd be going home. Come on up, Denny. As my mom walks up to the scale, this emotion is like crawling up inside me that I did not expect and I'm trying to fight back tears because she's the last person to weigh in and I'm scared of what I'm about to see, especially after Jesse and Marcy both just gained weight. Jenny, your previous weight was 196. Your current weight is. Jenny, your previous weight was 196. Your current weight is. It's not just a little mistake or a little miscalculation. You gain eight pounds. You are deliberately taking a dive. You know, Allie, you're a mom. And having gotten to know you, I know that you would do anything for your kids. And these are all my kids, you know, every one of them. I love them. And every day that they get to be here, they grow not only more physically fit, but more emotionally and mentally fit. And that's what this is all about. The hardest thing I've ever had to do is sit with my daughter when she lost her babies and know that I contributed to that because I passed on my emotional eating 
to her. And because of her weight, she has lost these kids. And that's what she wants more than anything. Last year, she almost bled to death when she had a, a pregnancy that ruptured. And, you know, we, we could have lost her. And so for me, it's about stopping the cycle of overeating. And that's what this is all about. It's about being a mom and taking care of her kids. My first thought is, how selfless can a person get? So Sarah, what does your mom's sacrifice mean to you? It means a lot. <laughs> But she's doing this so that I can become a mom. And if I can be a mom like that, I, I'll take it. I love you. I love you, too. I love all of you guys. I love you, too. I'm disappointed that the black team threw the way in. Obviously, as a trainer, I don't want to see anyone gain weight on purpose. But the parents did what they felt like they had to do to protect their children. So no one can judge them for that. Denny, you gained eight pounds taking the black team's total 11 pounds. Wow. Denny, your individual percentage of weight loss is plus 4.08%, which means you are below that red line and you are eliminated from this competition. I'm sorry to tell you that you are not the biggest loser. I'm the biggest winner. <laughs> <laughs> I was so proud of her in that moment. And to hear those tears, you know, I couldn't stop crying because Everyone wanted to give that to her. The clapping didn't stop. Almost as like a, yeah, we agree with you. We endorse that. You are the biggest winner. I felt like for the first time, Diddy felt like a leader. She felt like she took charge. So you go, Diddy. You go, girl. One word to describe you, Denny. One, grace. I hate this. I hate having to say goodbye to her. I hate that she's about to walk out the door, and that's it. The person leaving today is so different than the person I was when I first came. Three, two, one! I'm stronger. I feel so much better about myself. I have so much more confidence. Come on, Daddy! I never thought I could do the things I'm doing now. Coming here with Sarah has brought us so much closer. We've just had so many wonderful opportunities to appreciate each other, and she's what brought me here. She's who gave me this gift. I just can't express my gratitude to The Biggest Loser for helping me to grow this much and helping me to rediscover who I am. I'm so excited for the future because being here and learning the things I've learned and being able to go home and live this way will give me so many more years to live. When I first came to the ranch, I was wearing a size 22. America, next time you see me, this mother of eight is going to be wearing a size 8. Red team, congratulations. You are officially the winners of this weigh-in, which means you are all safe from elimination, and you will all be here for one more week. Black team, I'll see you in the elimination room with your decision. Good night. Tonight, the red team has earned its place on the ranch, and we've proven that we can compete. You know what? This is only the beginning. I do respect what they did. But it doesn't really teach the children to go out through life to, to tackle anything. Regardless of whatever obstacles in front of you, give everything you got. And that's what Kaylee and I did. I just wish they would have done the same thing. Coming up, the biggest loser transformation moment. See how the eliminated player looks today. The Biggest Loser Club is changing lives. Want to be a contestant on The Biggest Loser? Log on to NBC.com for details. The parents here, they've all basically said to us, we will sacrifice for our children. And you know, I feel like everyone on the team would agree that my mom needs to be here. She is the glue and she's very strong in competition. And you know, with her weight loss and her percentages, she helps us a lot. The best thing for the team and for all of the kids that are here would be for Jesse to be the one to go home. This is your first team elimination. 
Let's get to it. Courtney, we're going to start with you. What the parents did for us tonight, for all of us kids, I mean, I have so much respect for every single parent here. I think it's pretty clear that it's going to be one of the parents, and I think that it's pretty clear that I'm not going to write my mom's name down. And because of that, my vote is for Jesse. Jesse, that's one vote for you. Sarah? When I came on the team just a couple weeks ago, this person uh, embraced me that night and said, you're not expendable. And I know that he'll do fine, and I'm, I'm, I am better for, for knowing him. My vote is for Jesse. Jesse, that's two votes. It's two. Olivia? I didn't come here with a parent. I came here with my sister, but I gained three parents. And one of them was a father. And um, I love him very much. Um, my vote is for Jesse. Jesse, that's three votes. It takes five to be eliminated. Hannah? Well, like everyone says, this is the worst part of this game, sending home our family. And this person, when I first met him, I thought, wow, that guy's really loud. <laughs> and then I had a conversation with him, and I learned that he is a wise, wise man. He, in every occasion, made all of us girls feel beautiful and smart, and, you know, always told us that he was 30 years younger. <laughs> and he really made me feel special. And so I can't wait to see what you do when you go home, because I know it'll be something great. My vote is for Jesse. And Jesse, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for helping me on my journey. Because you'll never know how much you've done for me and for the rest of this team. Jesse, that's four votes. If you receive one more vote, you will be eliminated. Mercy. Well, I think the saddest thing for me is that you're such an integral part of this group. And you've taught me a lot. But tonight I had to make a vote. And tonight I believe with Jesse. In this game, this is the ultimate gift you can give those you love. I feel honored to be able to do that. And my son, you gotta work hard, baby. It's up to you now. I'll never forget. As I started putting all my weight, there was only one person that every time they see me, with all the love of the world, told me how worried they were. And how, need to do something, baby. Need to do something. I want to thank you for never giving up on me. That's what a father does. I love you for that. And I promise you, I will get rid of all of this weight. I promise you that. Love you. <laughs> love you. <laughs> tell you that you are not the biggest loser. And it's time for you to go. Bye, baby. Bye. When I arrived at the ranch, I weighed 293 pounds. And as I leave today, I'm leaving at 241 pounds. I feel really good about the Jesse that has evolved from here. My diabetes is under control for the first time since I've been diagnosed with it. I mean, I've lost 50 pounds, but I have a lot more weight to lose. I want to be healthy. Come on, Daddy. For me, when it's all said and done, I mean, Arthur's the one that I started this journey with. I'm happy for him every morning we wake up and he gets ready to go out there and exercise. 
he's just coming along so great. I am so proud of him. This is a real wonderful start to a new journey for the rest of my life, and I appreciate it. America, the next time you see me, I'll be one lean, mean, fighting machine. Woo! The Four Biggest Loser, I weighed 293 pounds. Today, I weigh 227 pounds. I'm committed to exercising the rest of my life. The only question at this point is getting in the amount of exercise that I had gotten used to. But I'm glad to say I've answered the call. Why you wanna yell? Welcome to Walking with Jesse. <laughs> Let's do it! Yeah. Yeah. Come on! Come on, man. My plan is to walk every Saturday, and the whole purpose is to get people out together. It's about walking and talking. It's about getting to know one another. It's about realizing that you are not in this battle alone. This is one of my favorite walks right here. It was great to come out here and be part of the first Walk with Jesse. He looks fabulous, and it's so wonderful to see all the people that are supporting him. This is the very first time that we came out here as a family for a walk. So many folks that are suffering from obesity, if they know that there's somewhere where they can go, and they're not going to be judged by how little or much they do not move now, this could be a nice start for them. One step at a time, like Jesse said. That's, yeah, that's, that's right. what we're trying to do. Yeah. We're trying to make our first step. If there's a message that I can get to people, it is. You can do whatever it is that you want to do. The key is, is that you have to want to do it. The Biggest Loser has given me a new lease on life. This stage in my life, 61 years old, and I feel like a little baby, and I feel like my life has just started. When I started on The Biggest Loser, I weighed 256 pounds. Today, I weigh 170 pounds, so I've lost 86 pounds. One of the things I've struggled with is the fact that I've passed on my unhealthy eating habits to my kids. Now, I've turned things around. Hey, guys, want to make a smoothie? Would that be fun? Instead of having cookies made and lots of ice cream, there's a lot of healthy treats I can give them instead. This is the best thing I've ever tasted. Mm -hmm. Before I came on The Biggest Loser, I couldn't get off the ground. Once I was down, I couldn't get up. Now I can get down and up and down and up over and over. I have a lot of little grandkids. Keeping up with them was really difficult. It isn't anymore. Now it's just fun. That's right, everybody. Let's go all the way down the hill. She does a lot and a lot so that she can play with us and do more act more workout things instead of getting tired. My family has been so supportive of me. Hi, Hi mommy. Oh, yes, it's right here. I'm so excited. I missed my daughter's wedding while I was at the ranch, which was the most difficult thing I've ever done in my life. But now I get to share with her in watching the videos with her. It was so hard not to have my mommy next to me holding my hand, but I want to say it was worth it. I know that your life is different and you'll be there for my kids. Oh, I'm so much healthier. I feel like I got the golden ticket. I have had the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm going to live a lot longer, and that's the most exciting thing. I'm going to be around for my kids and my grandkids. Mm -hmm.